Grand Prix Insights is presented by Allianz. A few decades ago, the driver's fitness level was not as high. Today, most of us have a strict and very demanding fitness program every week. An F1 race is as exhausting as running a marathon, and even worse, to be honest, when the cockpit gets hot. Without training, I would be so exhausted during a race it could be dangerous, both because of physical exhaustion and also just mental fatigue. And just like when you're on the road, if you're exhausted and you can't think straight, you shouldn't be there. In Formula One, we also have to stay focused on driving whilst coping with enormous g-forces. Personally, I train for triathlon, which consists of running, swimming and cycling. And I developed a special exercise to train particular muscle areas, especially my neck. The most important thing is to drink enough so you don't dehydrate. You have to drink before you're thirsty to avoid mental drops in performance and driving mistakes. I know all the other guys are working hard to stay in shape, so I just always try and do that little extra bit more to be fitter than them. You have to really want it, and the ability to do it is all in your head. Your mind controls and protects your body. You don't have to be an F1 driver to need a healthy mind and body. Whether it's racing or driving, if you're fit, well hydrated and fresh, not tired, you're safer behind the wheel. Grand Prix Insights was presented by Allianz.